Uh, so if there are no questions, then we will continue now, uh, where we start looking at basic arithmetic associated with binary numbers, right? <clears throat> and we shall start with uh, binary addition, right? So <laughs> here's the thing. It turns out that when you're adding, when you're adding, um, let's say you want to add two numbers, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 1, 0. The easiest thing to do here is you just convert, you, you're saying the easiest thing is you just convert uh, the numbers into decimal and then you add them and convert the answer into binary. That would be like cheating, right? Because it's the reason why we're doing this. So what we're saying is that an approach to take, if you have, if if you are asked to add 0111 and 010 or 0110, what we're saying is, or rather add 111 and 110, what we're saying is you could just convert 111 into, into decimal, right? This is the ones place, this is the twos place, this is the fourths place. So it's four plus two plus one, which is seven. So effectively we're saying we are adding, we are adding, you convert that to the thing, you co you're adding seven and, this is the ones place to seven and six, right? Which is 13, is it? So we get 13 and then we'll say we convert the 13 into, into binary. And converting 13 into binary is pretty easy here. All you would do is just repeatedly divide your 13 by two, right? And then you'd say uh, the answer is just going to be two into 13 is uh, six times, Remainder one, right? Two into uh, two into six. The answer is three. Remainder zero. Now this is uh, this is retarded though. It's not. We're trying to understand how the computer does this, right? Which is why we need to do it the normal way. But what we're saying is this is what this is the the logical thing to do. You convert the numbers you are adding into decimal, add the decimal numbers, and then convert the answer into binary. Because this is, this, is, this is what you're used to, right? So two into three is one, remainder one. And then two into one is zero, remainder one, right? So in fact, the answer is one, one, zero, one, right? So one, one, zero, one. So this is what we're saying. This is, this is what would obviously come natural to us, yeah? Um, but we want to be able to add numbers just like we add in base 10 here, right? So it turns out that uh, a very simple way of adding numbers, binary numbers, is by just by following simple rules, more rules now, we'll come to rules, more rules, right? And the rules are simple, right? The rules associated with the result that you expect to get as you are adding the different combinations of bits, right? So what we're saying is uh, when we add a zero bit and a zero bit, we get zero. When we add a one and a zero, we get one. Now I know what you're thinking, but but Lighton, what about when you add a zero and a one? Oh, a zero and a one is the same as a one and a zero. But if you want, we can put it here and say rule number five, when you add a zero and a one, the answer is you drop down one, this is one and the same. Drop down one. We'll call this rule number five. All right, when you, when you are combining a one and a one, you carry one and then you drop zero, All right? So the answer is zero, the remainder is one. When you are, uh, when you are, uh, and this is an important rule by the way, when you have a situation where you are adding one and one and one, you, your answer is one or you drop one, and then you will carry one as the remainder, you move it forward. Now this idea of the carry one and whatnot is the same as what you do when you're adding decimal numbers. You remember what Miss Banda told, told you when you're saying uh, in grade one, I guess, I don't know if it was primary school or something, but, but when you are adding nine and two, what is nine and two? Nine and two is nine. Now this is probably a bad uh, example here. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's do one zero nine. What is one zero nine plus one? What is the answer here? 
What is the answer? I know you know the answer here. What is the answer when you add one zero nine plus one? I don't know, right? But anyway. <sighs> one ten. Exactly. One ten. Yeah, but you think about this for a second. One ten. It's not like it's going to be one ten. What Miss Banda told you is you add nine and one. What is nine and one? It's ten. So you say it's zero, remainder, one. The one goes to the next place holder, right? And in fact, you're going to add one and the zero. It goes to the ten to the tens place. This is the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, right? And tens place or something. So what we're saying here is it will be one plus zero, it's one. And then you have one ten. This is how you get one ten. We are saying the same thing applies to base two. When you are adding, when you are, you are faced with a situation where you are adding, this is why we say drop. When you are adding one and one, <laughs> we are saying that because there's no two here, we are saying here the answer is going to be zero. And then we carry the bit to the next place holder. Do you understand? This is what we're saying by, by saying one and one, we carry one, we drop zero. One, 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 we, 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 we have, if we are adding one, one and one. What we're going to have is a situation where the answer is we drop one as the answer, as part of the answer, we'll drop one and then carry the other one to the next placeholder here. Now, again, I know what you're thinking. Well, Lighton, uh, why would we have three ones, right? In case you're wondering, like Lighton, I guess, probably wondered at some point when he was learning binary for the first time. We, imagine a situation where you're adding one, one, and one, one, right? When you're adding one, one, and one, one, what is one, one? One, one, one is, one, is three, right? When you're adding three and three in binary, what you're saying is, the first part here, one and one, it's zero. Remainder, one, when you carry one, the one is going to be carried on top here. Because it's carried on top to the next position, you will have three ones. So we need a separate rule for these three ones here, which is why we have that last rule here. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is why we have this thing here. All right. So yeah, now, yes, that we, now that we set the stage for these rules, these four basic rules, we are now going to just uh, see if we can um, if we can play around with this. Uh, we're going to go through the rules again, but we want to see some basic examples of how to apply these rules, right? And then, uh, oh wow, I don't know. And then we can do this. So again, um, just to to kind of uh, show us what's happening here, we're saying these are the rules here, right? So first rule is where you have. Um, you have zeros, right? You just drop down a zero, right? Um, the second, the second situation is where, and and again, you notice that this this visual, this visualization has uh, a situation where perhaps uh, you might have three digits that you're working with. Right? It's possible you might be just adding two digits, but there are instances where you have three digits, right? So this is what we are showcasing here. We're saying if you have a situation where you have three digits like so, zero zero zero, it's zero is the answer, you drop, you carry zero. If you have a situation where you have a one and two zeros, the answer is just one, you carry zero, right? And of course, where you have this, this one is inconsequential, I mean, it could have been here, it could have been at the end, but what we're saying is just a situation where you have two zeros and one, one, the answer is one, you carry zero. When you have two ones, the answer is zero you carry one. When you have three ones, the answer is one, you shall carry one. And again, I just wanted to mention that this idea of carrying is you move it to the next uh, two's place, right? So you have a one's place, you have a two's place, you have a four's place, you have a eight's place, you have a sixteenth place. So as you are adding numbers, if there's a carry bit, you move it to the next place holder, right? 